Okay, so in this question we've got a right angle triangle and we've got two lengths and an angle and the angle is unknown. So whenever we've got two lengths and an angle in a right angle triangle, we're going to be using trigonometry. So the first step of trigonometry is mark the lengths. So go across from the right angle and that's your hypotenuse. Go across from the marked angle and that's our opposite. And the one left over, and this is also between the right angle and the marked angle, is the adjacent. Next step, cross out the one that we're not using. Well, A has 3.2 next to it, O has 6.3 next to it, the hypotenuse has nothing next to it, so that's not going to be interesting today. Next step is write out your saw ka toa. And this is something you need to remember. It's a collection of three triangles, saw ka and toa. And we'll cross out the one we're not using for this question. Well, both so and ka have a h in it, and we've already crossed that out. So it's going to be toa that we use. Now, some of you might want to just write tan x equals o over a and uh, solve it that way by substituting. We're going to do a slightly different method. We're going to do this with the triangle. And we're just going to substitute in the value. So t stands for tan, the angle. Well, in this question, it's tan x. O is the opposite, which is 6.3 and a is 3.2. Now the way of using this is we've got 6.3 over 3.2 equals tan x. So tan x equals 6.3 over 3.2. Now the problem is we want x, we don't want tan x. And the way of sorting that out is by doing inverse tan both sides. So x equals, and we're doing the inverse tan of 6.3 over 3.2. Okay, so I'm going to get my calculator and I'm going to type in shift and tan, or you might get have a different button combination in the calculator. 6.3 divided by 3.2 and close the bracket that was opened. So x equals 63.0723 blah blah blah. It says it wants to do decimal places, so it's going to be 63.07 and it already has a degrees on the X, but I can put a degree in my answer.